Okay, well, the Bible describes all sex outside of the context of marriage covenant as sexual immorality, whether that's homosexuality, whether that's heterosexuality, whether that's promiscuity or committed sex. If it's outside of vows, outside of a lifelong covenant, God is a covenant God, and we're called to be covenant people. And the reason why God... uh, prohibit sex outside of marriage is because the covenant of marriage gives us safety and security. Uh, that's God's design. And so all sex outside of the covenant of marriage is defined as sexual immorality. So if you're not married, I don't care how close you are to marriage, it's still outside of the covenant of marriage. The Bible describes Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Mary were engaged but it says that Joseph did not know her until after the child was born and they were actually married. So they had been betrothed, which is engaged, and they were not involved in sex. Now, let me just say this. I understand the difficulty, okay? I do. Because when you've come to the place in your relationship that you know you are, you love them, you're committed to them, you've, you've made a promise that you're going to get married to each other, you want to be close to that person. You, you, want to, you want to act married because there's love and there's intimacy there. And I understand the temptation to do that. This is why my recommendation is don't have long engagements. <laughs> well, it takes a long time to plan a wedding. Which would you rather have, a wonderful wedding or a wonderful marriage? Because if you... You, there is a certain violation of trust when you, when you are both Christ followers and you know that it's wrong, but you, because of temptation and even good motives, you violate that. You're setting your marriage up on a foundation of we're not able to control ourselves. We're not able, uh, can I trust you? Uh, I know that you think that this is wrong, but we've done it anyways. What's going to keep you from doing it after we're married with somebody else, even if you know that it's wrong? Uh, and, and you want your wedding night to be special. You want that to be special. And so for the joy that is set before you, endure the engagement uh, because you will be grateful for that. Um, and honor, the Bible says, to not defraud your brother or sister. And so before the person that you're engaged to is your husband or your wife, they are already your brother and your sister in Christ. And the Bible says do not defraud them. Because afterwards, you're going to have to clean up some messes, and you're going to, you're going to have to, there's going to need to be some healing that takes place there. And so I would say, even to an engaged couple, shorten your engagement then. You can plan a wonderful wedding, get married, and listen, stop dating people for 11 years. And then wonder, oh, well, we're really not sure yet. And then I've never met anybody that's been in a long-term dating relationship that isn't violating God's word by not having sex. They're just like, oh yeah, well, we're sleeping together. Yeah, but we've been together for 11 years. I don't care. You've been in sin for 11 years. Get married. I've performed weddings in my office after Sunday morning services. Literally, I've been like, they're just like, we don't know what to do. I'm like, get married. Well, we don't, we can't afford it. I'm free. And it's like, do you, do you, you are. And gotten them married, now go have sex. (laughs) Unfortunately, well, um, okay. All right, we're moving on. Actually, we're not moving on. As soon as people get married, they're like, I don't know, sex isn't as much fun. It's like, (sighs) okay. Yeah. Uh, You know, I've been married for 15 years, I'll say. Is it still fun? It's better. I love it. It's the best. It's one of my favorites. It's, it is my favorite thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> my daughter asked me yesterday, she goes, Dad, besides me, is what she said, besides me, what's your favorite thing? I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so I lied, and I said pepperoni pizza. And so, so we've talked a lot about premarital sex, but... What would you say to that? We talked about it a little bit inside the confines of marriage, but what would you say to those who maybe would not define oral sex, anal sex, manual stimulation, masturbation, anything like that? That's not, they would say, that's not sexual morality outside of marriage. Like, that's not sex. They only define it as vaginal intercourse. Survey says, "Ah," wrong answer. Um, (laughs) We we live in a culture where... (laughs) 
We live in a culture where we had a president say, it depends on what your definition of is is. Yeah. When it came to oral sex. And you can actually find a psychological correlation in our culture from that moment in 1998 when that was said and the youth, the younger generation of America not viewing oral sex as sex. Have you noticed that on the, there's two words there, oral, say it. Sex. So it's sex. anal. Sex. There's a lot of people saying sex in here right now. Nobody, <laughs> you guys are, you guys are <laughs> a lot of afraid tentative. to say that. I know you don't, you're not afraid to say it outside of church, so say it at the loudest possible volume you can. Ready? <laughs> on the count of three, say this three letter word, say sex. One, two, three. Okay, gosh, boy, you guys are wound up. What's, <laughs> what's going on here? Listen, any type of any t- any type of those expressions that you're talking about, those it's sex. It is sexual contact. It doesn't just have to be va- vaginal penetration. It's anything. If I have to get definitive with you, it is anything that is sexually stimulating to a male or female sexual organs. That is sex. So you have self-sex, anal sex, oral sex, hand sex, rub sex. I mean, whatever you want to call it. All of that is sexual in nature. It's a new one. Rub, rub, rub sex? Rub. I, I made that up on the fly. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking through don't every ex- scenario don't that explain it to me. somebody, <laughs> a teenager could be like, we're not really having sex. No, you, you are. That's sexual in yeah. nature. This is moving in a wrong direction. Wow, okay, that's, so. That's great. 